Picture this, it's a balmy evening, and you're nestled on your couch, a bowl of popcorn resting comfortably in your lap. The television set flickers to life, its cathode ray glow casting a warm aura in the room. And there she is, Sally Field, in her iconic cornet, taking flight on a breeze like no other. It's your very first encounter with The Flying Nun, the charming 1967 TV series that defied gravity and tickled your imagination. As you tuned in week after week, you found yourself swept away by the whimsical world of Sister Bertrill. Her aerodynamic habit, which made her light as a feather, opened up a realm of endless possibilities. Remember those heartwarming moments when she soared above the picturesque Puerto Rican town of San Juan. The laughter, the love, and the lessons learned with every gentle gust of wind. But here's the real magic. Did you know that the flying nun was inspired by a book titled The Fifteenth Pelican by Tyr Rios? Or that the show faced some skepticism due to its unique premise, but soared to become a beloved classic? So, fasten your seatbelts and get ready to take flight once more as we unveil fascinating tidbits about this TV gem that touched the hearts of many. It's time to revisit the nifty nunnery of San Juan, where the wind carries secrets and laughter. The Flying Nun, a beloved TV series from 1967, emerged as a whimsical and unique addition to the era's television landscape. Set in Puerto Rico, the show followed the misadventures of Sister Bertrill, portrayed by Sally Field, a nun with an extraordinary ability, the power to fly when her cornet caught the wind. This distinctive premise gave the show its name and laid the foundation for its comedic charm. Sister Bertrill's endearing innocence and her interactions with the residents of San Juan, including the stern Mother Superior, and the dashing Carlos Ramirez, played by Alejandro Ray, created a delightful dynamic. The series struck a balance between light-hearted humor and heartwarming moments, as Sister Bertrill's flying escapades often led to unexpected consequences and life lessons. The flying nun left an indelible mark on popular culture by showcasing the power of faith, kindness, and uniqueness. Sally Field's portrayal of the titular character earned her widespread recognition and set the stage for her illustrious career in film and television. The show's catchy theme song and iconic imagery, featuring Sister Bertrill soaring through the skies, remain etched in the memories of those who grew up watching it. The Flying Nun continues to be celebrated for its enduring charm and as a testament to the creativity that can be found in even the most unconventional ideas in television. In the 1967 TV series The Flying Nun, there's an interesting tidbit about Sally Field, who played the lead role of Sister Bertrill. She openly admitted that she disliked the script so much that she refused to read them. Instead, she would learn her lines right before shooting each scene by looking at the script supervisor's script. This unusual approach didn't hinder her performance and, in fact, contributed to the show's charm. Moreover, the show had notable sponsors, including Oscar Mayer and Colgate Palmolive. These companies were known for products like Fab Detergent, Bright Side Shampoo, and Palmolive Dish Liquid. Their support played a crucial role in the show's production and success. Lastly, one of the characters, Sister Jacqueline, had an interesting backstory. Before becoming a nun, she worked as a file clerk for an advertising firm, highlighting the diverse paths the characters took before entering the convent. These intriguing facts add depth to the legacy of the flying nun, showcasing the unique dynamics behind the scenes and the show's connections to well-known brands of its time. In the 1967 TV series The Flying Nun, there's an interesting twist to Sister Bertrill's background. While she's known for her flying exploits, she actually comes from a family of doctors. Surprisingly, she's the only one in her family who didn't pursue a medical career. This contrast between her vocation as a nun and her family's profession added a unique layer to the character. During the show's heyday, Mad Magazine decided to have some fun with Sister Bertrill. They created a parody called Sister Brazil, The Flying Nut. It's a testament to the character's popularity that it inspired such humorous spin-offs. What often goes unnoticed is the show's setting. In a time when diversity wasn't fully embraced on TV, The Flying Nun stood out. It's one of the few, if not the only, primetime sitcoms from the 1960s that took place in an impoverished Hispanic community. 
The setting added a dimension of cultural richness to the show, setting it apart from many of its contemporaries. The Flying Nun may be remembered for its whimsical premise, but it also made a mark in its portrayal of diversity and its unique character backgrounds. In her 2004 interview with the Archive of American Television, Sally Field admitted she had little affection for either the series or her role as Sister Bertrell. I always certainly tried to do my best with it, but deeply didn't want to do it. It went for three years. It was hugely important time in my life because I learned a lot, because I didn't want to do it, and because I hated it every day. I hated the garbage. I felt it was just trivia that I had to say. With Gidget, there was some kernel of something real in it. It was the father-daughter relationship that I always could hang on. But there was nothing in the nun that I could make sense out of. It made no sense to me. It was just drivel. And people, when they hear me talk like that, they get very angry. Oh, I grew up with that. I loved it. Well, God bless Jessen that you loved it, but it was drivel and nonsense. There wasn't any piece of it that had any human behavior in it. And that bothered me. She continued, Madeline Sherwood, who played Mother Superior, recognized my depression and how difficult this was for me, and she recognized why, and she took me to the actor's studio. I didn't know that's where I needed to be, and it came a huge turning point in my life. Sally Field has admitted that she is embarrassed by her work in this series. She didn't want the role, but her stepfather, Jock Mahoney, convinced her to accept it for job security. The Flying Nun, a 1967 TV series, holds a unique place in the career of its star, Sally Field. Field, in a 2004 interview, openly expressed her reservations about the show and her character, Sister Bertrell. She confessed that she had little affection for both the series and her role. Despite her best efforts, Field found it challenging to connect with the character and the storyline. Field's candid comments shed light on her internal struggles during the three-year run of the show. She described her daily experience on set as something she hated, referring to the dialogue as garbage and drivel. She believed that the flying nun lacked the depth and authenticity she had found in her previous role in Gidget, where she played a relatable father-daughter dynamic. One person who recognized Field's distress was Madeline Sherwood, her co-star who played Mother Superior on the show. Sherwood took Field under her wing and introduced her to the actor's studio, a pivotal moment that transformed Field's career. In retrospect, Sally Field's honest assessment of her time on The Flying Nun provides a unique glimpse into the challenges and complexities of a beloved TV series. Her journey from reluctance to acceptance and personal growth behind the scenes is a testament to the dedication and resilience of actors in the face of difficult circumstances. Sally Field's journey with the flying nun Sally Field, renowned for her role in the 1967 TV series The Flying Nun, had a transformative experience during the show's production. In a DVD interview, Field praised her fellow cast members, showcasing her positive outlook and lack of negativity towards any of them. Notably, this series came after Gidget, and it became a pivotal moment in her career. Had the flying nun not followed Gidget, Field might not have had the opportunity to be mentored by Madeline Sherwood. This mentorship played a crucial role in helping her develop a character that was quite distinct from her previous roles. It also instilled in her the disciplines and skills that she would later utilize in her successful acting career. What's remarkable is that Field portrayed a character she didn't inherently relate to with such convincing authenticity. This fact underscores the enduring essence of the character and the continued merit of the series. Over the years, The Flying Nun has seen periodic revivals on various entertainment platforms, showcasing its enduring popularity and cultural impact. Sally Field's journey with The Flying Nun not only marked a turning point in her career, but also contributed to the enduring legacy of the series, ensuring its place in television history. Unholy Alliances, the dark impact of greed-driven deals and unethical choices on the Flying Nun's cast member in Hollywood in the world of Hollywood, where fame and fortune often collide. The 1967 TV series The Flying Nun had its fair share of behind-the-scenes drama. Among the cast members, one individual found themselves entangled in a web of unholy alliances, driven by greed and unethical choices. The Flying Nun, a beloved show that featured Sally Field as Sister Bertrell, a nun who could miraculously fly due to her cornet-shaped headgear, captured the hearts of many viewers. 
However, beyond the screen, the show's success was marred by a dark tale of one of its cast members. Amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood's bygone days, a cast member from The Flying Nun fell prey to the allure of fast money and shady deals. While their identity remains undisclosed, the story paints a picture of the cutthroat world of showbiz. Greed-driven deals and unethical choices cast a long shadow on this cast member's career. The pursuit of riches led them down a treacherous path, where moral lines blurred and alliances were forged with questionable characters in search of fame's elusive rewards. This dark episode serves as a cautionary tale of the unforgiving nature of Hollywood, where dreams can swiftly turn into nightmares. It reminds us that success in the entertainment industry often comes at a high cost, and the choices made can have lasting consequences. The Flying Nun may have been a light-hearted show, but the real-life struggles of its cast members shed light on the underbelly of the entertainment world. It is a stark reminder that, in Tinseltown, not all that glitters is gold. In the end, this cast member's story serves as a sobering lesson about the importance of ethical choices and the dangers of unholy alliances in the pursuit of stardom. As we bid adieu to the whimsical world of the Flying Nun, it's time to take flight down memory lane. This iconic 1967 TV series not only soared to heights of comedy, but also touched our hearts with its charming simplicity. Do you recall Sister Bertrill's improbable yet delightful ability to defy gravity with her cornet-shaped headgear? Or perhaps you found solace in the quaint convent of Santanko, where the characters grappled with life's quirks in the most endearing ways. Now, it's your turn to share your treasured recollections and musings about this beloved show. Whether it's the mischievous antics of Carlos Ramirez, the kind-hearted wisdom of Mother Superior, or the sheer wonder of Sister Bertrill's flying escapades, we want to hear it all. Maybe the flying nun was your childhood escape or a source of timeless laughter during your golden years. Perhaps you found inspiration in Sister Bertrill's unwavering optimism, or admired the resilience of the characters as they navigated the world with humor and grace. So, let's keep this conversation soaring. Share your favorite memories, unforgettable moments, or the lessons you carry from this charming series. Your unique connection to The Flying Nun is a story waiting to be told. Thank you for taking the time to reminisce and celebrate the magic of this timeless show with us. Your memories and thoughts are a testament to the enduring charm of The Flying Nun. Keep those stories coming, 